Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance and Crypto tutorial. Today we are going to learn how we can use Solana ecosystem, Solana wallet um, on the mobile phone, on iPhone, this kind of example, but this might work as well for Android. I have iPhone, so I make the tutorial for iPhone, but it works the exact same with this kind of wallet also in Android. So finally, you will be able to use your iPhone device or mobile device in order to access the great things inside the Solana ecosystem. If it's staking on Radium, using Cyber Finance Serum, or maybe trading NFTs, buying, selling NFTs, all this kind of cool things you will be able to do them directly from your mobile phone so if you want to learn it watch this till the end but before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so I, anytime I post this kind of videos you will get notified as soon as possible and you will become a crypto and DeFi masters here with me in Johnny time now let's get started the first thing you need to do in your iPhone in order to start uh, using Solana from your iPhone is download a wallet called coin 98 so i'm going to open the app store right here and write coin 98 this is the wallet the decentralized wallet that we are gonna use and then i'm gonna download and install it on my iphone device this is a legitimate wallet that's what i use you can use the same wallet it's not an advice nothing uh, uh, i can tell you this is basically what i'm using i'm not recommending or something but this is the best wallet that i found so far that works actually with solana so we will wait a while until the app will be installed now, as you can see, the Coin98 wallet has been installed and we're gonna open it up. Now, let's see what we got here. Uh, the wallet is loading. Let's allow it to send notification and let's choose English language. They have many languages, depend, you choose your own favorite language. Let's skip all this kind of uh, introduction. And all right, welcome to the wallet. This is the Coin198 wallet. You can set up a pin code. So anytime you open the wallet, if someone steals your phone, it will not have access to your wallet, so I'm gonna just send a random pin code, doesn't really matter. So basically the wallet will be locked when you open it up. So if someone stole your phone, you cannot steal your tokens. Now the next thing you need to do in order to start using Solana from this kind of new wallet is actually adding a new wallet. The way you do it is by clicking this button right here that's called add wallet. You see this kind of gray small button? So we're gonna click here, add wallet. Now it lets you add many, many wallets and you're gonna search for Sol. Sol by searching for Sol, you can see you have Solana Sol SPL wallet. I'm gonna click here and now let's click here and create. You have two options, you can restore your wallet. So let's say you have Core 98 wallet in your computer, maybe you have a Phantom wallet or Soulflare wallet, you can actually load it into the Coin98 wallet. So you can export your private key or your seed phrase and then inside the Coin98 include the same wallet. So if you have a browser wallet in Phantom, you can actually export the key and use the same wallet here for, it will be the same wallet, but just you can use it from the computer and the mobile phone as well. But in that case, I just want to create a new wallet. So I'm gonna click here, create. Now you give, you have to give a wallet name. So let's call it Johnny Time. Johnny, Johnny Time. Let's go next. Now the wallet is being created and now you have three important things. The first thing is the wallet address. This is the public wallet address that you will use in order to receive Sol or any other SPL token. So this is the wallet address. The second thing is the private key. The private key is actually the key that you are using to sign and send transaction to the Solana blockchain. Do not share it with everyone and back it up on a, on a safe place because if you lose this kind of phone here, you will uh, need this private key in order to back up your wallet. Maybe the, wa the phone will be uh, lost or maybe it will be broken. This private key can be used in order to recover and restore the wallet in uh, maybe in the computer itself or in another phone. The passphrase actually is more important than the private key because using the passphrase, the seed phrase, you can make the private key and if you have multiple wallets on the same Coin98 wallet, all of the private keys are being generated from the passphrase. So the passphrase is also super important. This private key and passphrase, never share them with anyone and keep them in a safe place. So once something, if something happens to your phone, you can actually get access back to your wallet. Now you will have to re-enter your recovery first in order to verify. So they check that you actually back, backed it up and then you have to click this kind of three uh, Vs in order to mark that you actually backed up your recovery key. 
Once done, you click here, create wallet, and congratulations, guys, you have a new Solana wallet on your iPhone device, and you can see right here, I don't have any Sol tokens, but I can click here and then click receive, and this is basically my Sol wallet address. I can also give the QR code to someone if you want, uh, if I want to receive Sol wallets, Sol tokens, you can also send send soul tokens to any wallet that you basically choose you can swap tokens so you they have inside the app itself you can swap soul to any other tokens of course the fees will be in soul token because in the ecosystem of solana every transaction you will need soul tokens in order to send transactions so swap is also a transaction but using this feature if you have some soul tokens you can swap tokens from one to another and this is basically your brand new solana uh, wallet now the next thing that you want to do is to to understand how to start using decentralized apps on the solana ecosystem solana blockchain with this kind of coin 98 decentralized wallet on iphone so in order to do so you can basically click browser here so this browser is actually uh, you have to use the browser inside the coin 98 uh, app because uh, the coin 90 app is basically connecting to the browser the app to the rpc node of the solana blockchain you will not be able to use from your firefox browser or um, let's say safari or chrome but you will have to use the browser within inside the core 98 wallet because that's how the wallet works and that's how you're able to connect the wallet to the decentralized app on the blockchain so for example you can see they already have all the popular dApps for example PancakeSwap and for us it's more importantly is the Solana dApps and you can see right here Radium the most common one of the biggest uh, decentralized exchanges on a Solana ecosystem so you can basically just click here on Radium but if you don't like it you can just search and put a URL of any other uh, wallet maybe it's Solana Art Solana Art or maybe it's uh, Solsi if you want to buy and trade NFTs using Using this wallet but in this example we're just gonna use radium which is the biggest and one of the best uh, decentralized exchanges on Solana ecosystem and right here I'm gonna click connect all wallet the exact same thing like you do with uh, in the in your computer in your extension browser and make sure to choose coin 98 wallet because this is the wallet that we're using and congratulations guys the wallet is now connected to the radium a decentralized exchange and you can start sending transactions to smart contract using your coin 98 wallet in the solana wallet on your iphone device isn't it great now you have on your pocket you can do trades you can do swaps you can buy and sell nfts from your iphone let's say i want to trade some soul um, with um, usdc so let's say i want to sell soul to usdc so you basically you put one soul and i don't have right now sufficient soul balance but it will work the exact same thing like it works in your browser so you basically click the swap and then a prompt will be uh, loaded into your uh, coin 98 wallet you will approve it and then it will send a transaction exactly like you're used to in your computer so i hope that this guide is helpful for you now you are able to get started with solana from your, from your mobile phone and let me know if you have any questions write them in the comments below and if this guide was helpful for you please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so anytime i post new educational videos about crypto DeFi, solana business can polygon avalanche phantom so many things to talk about and to learn together with me in joining time join my DeFi, my crypto journey and subscribe and watch my other videos and let's learn together thank you so much for watching this video and learning with me and we'll see you in the next guide bye bye